Stephanie Milkey here, a.k.a. Keto Mom, or often called mom, sis, Steffi, daughter, wife, aunt, and friend. Just like many of you, I carry a lot of titles. My favorite title is mom. I should probably say wife, which takes a lot of my time. But let's be honest. If you want to do something and do it well, you will make the time for it. Commitment is hard because we find ourselves overcommitted. But when you practice prioritizing, you will find out what is actually important and what you can let go. With the Keto Mom Podcast, you will learn together how to manage our time, commit to the most important things in life, and I will equip you with the tools you need to feel qualified each step of the way. My name is Stephanie Milkey, and welcome to the Keto Mom Secrets Podcast. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Keto Mom Facebook page. I am tuning in from, if you know, you can guess. I'm actually going to flip the camera around. Uh, Where am I tuning in from? Every Thursday, we have piano lessons. I'm sitting in the car. And I actually, if you hear the car running, it's because it's actually cold out. So as you're tuning in, here is a thought. Here is a conversation. Here's just a couple things that I have been thinking about. People have been asking questions. And I've just had this, like, I want to talk about this. Because I think a lot of people feel like there's a a one-size-fits-all. Or sometimes, I don't know about you, but have you ever been given a hard time about doing keto or low carb? So as you're tuning in, why don't you say hello and then tell me what you had for lunch. It's always fun to hear what other people are having for lunch. Gives other people ideas. We had egg salad. If you know me again, you know that I love egg salad. I feel like I want to shut my car off because it's loud. So there, maybe that's better. All right. What did you have for lunch? And I love egg salad, so I had egg salad on one of those zero-carb wraps. Not perfect keto, low-carb, yes. So here is what I want to talk about is the difference between why somebody might do OMAD or like one meal a day, why somebody might eat paleo or Whole30. And so here's the biggest thing I like to help people understand. And maybe I need to... Well, let me ask you this question. How long have you been doing keto? Because there really is an expectation of how fast people think that they're going to lose weight. Because most people are here because they want weight loss, right? They want fat loss. I'm going to shake up some ketones too. I'm going to shake up one of these ones. So here is egg salad. Oh, okay. So first of all, what'd you have for lunch? I had egg salad. I just saw a question, so I'm going to answer it real quick. If you have any questions, ask below. If I see it, I'll grab it. Otherwise, I'll send you a message. You guys, my egg salad is very simple. I put my eggs in the air fryer, yes, at 260, so 260 for the degrees, and I cook them for 16 minutes. When they're done, I like them cold. I put them in the refrigerator, open up. All I do is put some mayo, salt, pepper, and some mustard to taste. That's it. I don't like it super... um, whippy. I like it more eggy. So there you go. Some people like to add pickles or relish or um, celery. I don't want to add any of that. So how do you make your egg salad? Mine's very easy. All right. So I want to have this conversation as I'm shaking up my ketones about a realization and then just also dieting in general, fat loss. I would love for you to press the share button. Sharing is caring. So I want you to have this understanding. There is no one size fits all. And we all have different bodies. There are male and female. There are age. There are activity levels. All of this stuff plays a part in your fat loss and or your fat or your fat gain, right? And your age and uh, so many different things. Some of it's hereditary. A lot of it has to do with choices. And the only thing I can come to the conclusion that all across the board, the only thing that that is factored in that would be the same on every diet, keto, low carb, paleo, whole 30, that could either be done or not overdone, um, OMAD, things like that is calories, right? Because in general, I've talked about this before, but the way that you would lose fat, the way that we achieve fat loss is what? There's lots of different things that play a factor in our health. So I would say like there is If you're sleeping, right, sleep plays a factor in your health. I'm trying to figure out how to do all this. Sleep plays a factor in your health. Uh, Fitness. Oftentimes people think you can outwork a bad diet. 
not so much. I'm so sorry. But, you know, people try to work so hard in the gym so they can go ahead and go eat that donut. And I'm like, listen, you're not going to, you're not going to out eat your, well, there's a couple of people. <clears throat> I have some in my family who legitimately, I swear, eats nothing but sugar and is in great shape. But besides that, I'm like trying to find a place for my straw. Here's what I want you to understand. Here's the basics of everything that I really think is super important. Whole 30. It's like only eating whole foods. A potato would be a whole, right? So 30 there it's like all whole foods, a carrot. Something that's grown in the garden that you can physically take and eat by itself, not it's not mixed with anything. So I need people there's some things that play a factor in your fat loss, right? And whether you decide whether you decide to be keto, low carb, whole 30, paleo, um, OMAD, carnivore is a big deal right now. Um, it has to do with, of course, food and the not eating a whole bunch of sugar, but it really has to do with the amount of food that you're eating. We have been watching a show, and I wish I, I wish I could remember it, but think about Laura Ingalls Wilder. Think of Little House on the Prairie. Has anybody on here watched Little House on the Prairie? I hope you know the story. We've been watching a show like Little House on the Prairie with the girls. So it's a sweet story, pioneers. Um, but what I have been noticing is how people in in the pioneer days, uh, Little House on the Prairie days in this show, they're not snacking all day long. And in fact, they don't even have food and snacks sitting out all over the place. And I was telling my husband this the other day. I was like, I just said, I am 100% sure there are two things that play a factor in people's uh, gaining weight or losing weight. Two things. I'm not going to talk about sleep. I'm not going to talk about stress. I'm not going to talk about working out. Uh, all of those things are important. All of those things can help. But I'm telling you there's two things that I have noticed in this show, in, un in other shows. Let's just talk about that time era that we don't do very well, that we do too much of. Can you think what they are? Number one is the amount of sugar that we eat because sugar years ago was a treat. Oftentimes they would get like a candy cane for Christmas. That was the present and the treat. The amount of sugar that people eat that's on their counters and in their home is unbelievable. There's number one culprit. There's another one that I've noticed in watching this show. It is overeating. The portion sizes, the amount of food, the constant snacking, the constant feeling to need to have something is seriously an issue. So if you just think about it, it's sugar, which we use for everything. We use sugar for a reward, for a prize, for congratulation, for every party. We use it for our emotions. If we're sad, we use it out of boredom. We might eat something. We use it because we're, we're just mindlessly eating or we use it because we're going to go meet my, our friend you know, at the coffee shop and we should munch on something. Sugar and just overeating and the excessive calories, and you can do that in any diet. You can do it with keto. I tell people many times, listen, you can overeat good food because if you're eating an excess amount of food, how is your body supposed to use your stored fat? How is it supposed to lean out? How is it supposed to lose the fat that you want if you're constantly overeating? You can do that with Whole30. You can do that with Paleo. You can do that with um, a lot. Now, there are things like people will say, I eat one meal a day. I, I do OMAD. I do one meal a day. I eat within a window. There is an aspect of people eating within a time window where they're not eating all day. You want to know why that's working for a lot of people? Why do you think if you're looking at people and going, carnivores really working for them, they're eating a ton of protein, or OMAD's really working for them, it's because they've allotted themselves a certain time frame of eating and they don't eat outside of that window. And it's not intermittent fasting. It's legitimately like a few hours a day and that's it. So here's this just an awareness. Here's a reality. Here's something that just most people need to understand. Overeating and sugar is the culprit of your weight gain. And if you can have the understanding of, I don't need snacks every single two hours. I don't need to snack on something all day long. I don't, sh like, I, I shook up my ketones. Look at it, it's black. Isn't that fun? So you don't have to 
People like to drink stuff. Whew, I love it. It's black cherry. People don't like to, they like to have something with them, right? So I drink ketones. Some of you drink a lot of sugary drinks. That would be something that is a culprit of why you're not reaching your goals. If, there, if I'm not drinking ketones, I have water, water in here. Something else I've realized is, is in the pioneer days, they didn't sit around all the time going, let's go have a bonfire and make s'mores. Hey, let's all get together and everybody, like, you want to know what they did, which is so sweet. And I said, I need to do this with my girls. Instead of using food as a get together piece in the afternoon or food at every single, oh, I wonder if I'm in the way. Food, they use tea. Who who on here likes tea? Are you guys tea drinkers? Yes or no? I'm not, but surely there's some really good teas out there for you. I was like, why do you think they drank so much tea back then? They got around, had super cute teacups, and they had tea. I told my husband, I'm gonna make some tea times with our girls. Even if I shake up ketones and put it in a teacup, I think it's super fun. But what if you just start looking as like Years ago, in the pioneer days, they looked at food as fuel, right? It wasn't, oh my goodness, I'm so emotional, I'm having a bad day, where's the chocolate? I don't know if they actually did that. I'm just trying to help you relate in some aspect of the awareness of how much food people eat. So here is just a thought for the day. Do you find yourself mindlessly snacking, mindlessly eating, feeling like you constantly needing to go through a drive through Where is the sugar? Because sugar is addictive and it becomes people's friend. It becomes their friend in boredom or emotions and everything else in between, right? So, okay. And the amount of sugar that people just consume in general. That was the conversation I've been having with myself just the awareness of watching the show, talking to my husband, and then answering people's questions about food. And I'm bored of my snacks and I'm bored of all these recipes. I'm like, man, if you were a settler heading out West, you would have probably one thing to eat. I, I get it. We are not back in those days. I totally get it. But their mindset was on point. Their mindset was food is fuel. So the only awareness I want to give you is food is fuel. Doesn't need to be used for every single uh, moment in your day. That's it. And I bet you, when you find yourself snacking less and being aware of how much sugar and just food in general that you're eating, you first of all will go, I actually am probably not hungry. I'm bored. I'm probably not hungry. I'm emotional. I'm not hungry. I need some water. Maybe I should go find something to do. Uh, on the other note, you might be filling your cup with sugar. I'm filling it with ketones. And so this is my last one. I have more coming. I will have trials of this new flavor that we just launched. It is incredible. It's got 30% more ketones and caffeine in it. I'm having a little bit of an amped up one for the rest of our day. I drink ketones every day. I have for seven years. I like to have something in my shaker bottle, and it's either water or ketones. Some of you have energy drinks or protein shakes or sugary drinks. I drink these. If you've never tried them, all I'm going to encourage you to do is let's get a trial in your hands. So we've got lots of different flavors. They help with not eating as much, which we just talked about. So they help you with your appetite, your cravings, your energy levels, your mood. Ketones help with the way your body digests food. Ketones help with the way your body builds muscle. Ketones help with brain fuel and so much more. If you've never tried them, post trial in the comments and we'll chat. Otherwise, what keto, low carb, food, any questions do you have? Ask your questions below. I would love to know what questions you have. I'm here to help. So, and I'm not a expert by paper, but I have learned a ton in seven and a half years. I've learned from other doctors. I've learned from scientists. I've learned by trial and error. I've read a ton of books. And so I would love to help guide you in the direction that might work for you, give you some specific ideas. Let's work on this. This might not be working. This might work. So. It takes time, consistency, and uh, just don't give up. Like if you really want fat loss and you're like, I just need to lose some weight, you can do it. I promise you, you can do it. Everybody's bodies are different. So ask for guidance, ask for accountability, plug into the Keto Mom page. If you go to ketomomsecrets.com, all one word, ketomomsecrets.com, 
You can click on recipes, how to get started. We have a foods list. We, there's so many things. Mindset. I do mindset lives every morning. And so I just want you to know that I'm here to help you in the best way that I can. You shouldn't have to do this alone. I believe that you 100% can reach your goals as you set the right expectations and the time frames, and you don't give up. So, all right, I'm going to go drink my ketones. We're almost done with piano lessons, probably here in, tw it's not long. It's only 45 minutes. I don't even know how long I've been talking, but I'm here to help. Thank you for tuning in. I love seeing when you comment because it makes me feel like I'm not just chatting to myself. And I'm going to start some tea time, so maybe you should join me. Maybe I should do lives and call it tea time. Would that be fun? We all get our tea and have a conversation. All right. Have a good afternoon. We'll talk to you soon. I appreciate you. Bye, everybody.